Can you do this? Yeah, I probably, never mind. Yeah, I, anyways, God bless you guys. This is Willie Vaughn saying hello. God bless you. God put you on my heart today. Woo! God is good. You guys receive Jesus Christ if you haven't. Really consider it. This is, this is beyond. You guys, okay, check this out. So, like, I just woke up not too long ago. How do we, you know, dream? Sometimes you have bad dreams, good dreams. So you can't go with your dreams because Satan has access to your dreams, obviously, which actually is your emotions, you know, and sometimes like, you know, God can probably speak through your dreams. I mean, it's said in the Bible, but sometimes the devil can. So you really have to, if you really want to know if your dreams are from God, just go to the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible is the word of God, right? So this might be a little bit difficult to kind of understand right now um, as I'm saying it, but the more you ask God to reveal it to you, the more you'll understand it more because it's, it's supernatural. So everything is supernatural. Everything came into the world from God to Father, even you, right? Everything had to come through Jesus Christ, regardless of if, what you believe, how you believe. It, everyone had to come through, even principalities, even evil, had to come through Jesus Christ in order to be on this earth today. It had to come through Him. Why? Because of our sin nature, right? God already knew before Adam and Eve that sin would come into the world, so it, everything was created through Jesus for Jesus. Now, He made a way before the foundations of the world. So if you're born again Christian, which means Christ follower, the first church, the with Jesus Christ, there was no denominations. It was Christ followers, Christians. That's what that means. So if you, even Mary was a Christian. So you got to understand how things change and evolve over time. And all it takes is one person to think something and look uh, important. Sorry, I hit my spit you. I get excited, and, and people just, and that's just the way of the world. Even I, like, oh, you walk into the room nice and dressed up, and you're about to speak, you know, people are going to pay more attention, but that can cause you to believe something that is not true. If they're speaking something, even in an elegant way, you may be more considerable about thinking about what they're saying because they're dressed up or look nice or things like that and so you got a lot of different teachings and doctrines even in like science and things like that but you have to also understand that science had to come through from God the Father through Jesus Christ first so we're spiritual beings right so you're walking around what you see is the surface you see the elements of life you see all the things, mountains, moon, rain, all this and that, right? And you look at it and you're like, wow, that's beautiful. Why do you think you think that's beautiful? There's a reason behind that. Now, is there numbers and biology and psychology and all of that? And is there chemicals and things like that? Yes. But it's more deeper than that, right? So you have... Uh, we're spiritual beings. Everything came in supernaturally from God the Father. So therefore, everything has basically is from God's touch, right? Evil, if you really think about it, if there's no evil, how do we know what good is, right? So God made a way when mankind went against God. Adam and Eve, they had a choice. God said, don't do something. They did it. Look at the world today. God's saying in his holy Bible, don't do something. And the world's doing it. Even me at times. No one's perfect. But we can aim to please God. But the only way we can please God and be one with God, ultimately, is through receiving his son, Jesus Christ, for our sin nature. The love, or the, I'm sorry, through love. But the lust, the pride, the hating people and looking at people as if they're wrong. You're measuring sin to the point where 
this person does something, this over drinks or something, you talk about them, but you don't talk about the lust factor that you have flipping through the channels, looking at people get undressed and going to do, you know what I'm saying? So you have to, in, in God's eyes, it's wrong, right? Because he called us to be married in order, you know, for sexual situations, right? And especially like that person you're looking at could be married. So that you just double did it. But you don't look at that as being wrong. But you look at the man being drunk on the street and you look down at, and that's what the Pharisees did. And that's what you need to study if you're serious about God and you want what God has, his best life on earth and to come. You have to really consider and, and have faith and move to that Holy Bible because God made a way so that we can be one with him. Through his son, Jesus the Christ. It's deep, right? But it's simple. Mankind messed up, went against God. God made a way. So that now, on this dying earth, because there's sin in, on the, in the earth, God made a way and there will, be, there will be a new heaven and a new earth. As Adam came in, you know what I'm saying? Adam and Eve, it was perfect. We're going to be able to experience that but a new earth and it's going to be precious because this time there will be no sin. There's no way we can sin because once you receive Jesus, death cannot hold you. Therefore, death cannot be in you, right? It's you are living eternal life through Jesus Christ who lives in you once you receive him through faith. And that's John uh, chapter three. It, study that along with all of John I, I believe you should because it, it introduces like salvation and what you need salvation means protected forever you don't lose Jesus once he's in you you're married to him you are born again you have a new spirit God explains that in Ezekiel 36 and all through the Bible that he's coming to make a way and that was the Old Testament and he came and made that way Jesus Christ and Matthew, Mark, Luke, and or John start studying that because this Holy Bible is alive. We're spiritual beings, so God made a supernatural way so we can come to God the Father through Jesus Christ and be made one with Him. Your sins can't be prayed away. Your sins can't be walked away. There's the religious way of doing things is over. In the Old Testament, that's over with. That ceases. Don't put new wine in old wineskin. There's a new way in that in that New Testament when Jesus came after the Bible speaks of after John the Baptist, the law stopped. Right. And it's actually when Jesus came. So and once you receive Jesus Christ, sin, it, you do sin through the mind, through the thoughts, but your spirit is made right with God. So death come, can't live inside of you you are born again you have a new spirit when we come into the world it's a dead spirit right it can sin against god it's against jesus it doesn't want jesus right so when you receive jesus and you die death eternal death when you leave this earth cannot hold you and then those that don't have jesus you will face eternal death in the lake of fire will be tossed along with the devil that did evil against us and his demons that manipulated our minds and caused us to go and you know what I'm saying so when you receive Jesus if you have hatred in you and you're living with that and unforgiveness and things you're doing whatever that is evil against God you're purposely allowing it because evil cannot rest inside of you right unless you allow it to so you have to let go of self and that that will be released and look at self. You're not perfect. And then you'll understand what this is all about. And then you'll be like David. King David says, taste and see that the Lord is good. And when you start resisting self, you'll start seeing true life and you'll see the love of God. And you recognize you. He doesn't leave you. You're his sheep forever. And the shepherd loves his sheep and he will chase you down to love you and protect you. So receive Jesus if you're in any type of trouble or in anything, in any situation or in your relationship that seems hopeless, there's hope in Christ.